Now the EU, SDG, Nigeria and the Justice Development and Peacemaker Centers have now partnered with uh, our stakeholders in Ondo State to uh, combat vote buying and trading. The initiative, titled Promoting Inclusive, uh, Participatory, Accountable and also Representative, uh, Representative Democratic Governance in Ondo, aims to discourage such practices from uh, the various or previous governorship elections. Now, the Independent National Electric Commission has now strengthened polling centers and trained ad hoc staffs. We discovered that this issue of vote buying has, is a cancer, as it's actually a cancer as it has been established. And there is a need to begin to discuss about it, carrying uh, security agencies along so that even the perpetrators of this so called uh, vote buying could actually be arrested. And that is why we have security operatives in our midst today to ensure that whosoever that is caught come November 16 should be prosecuted as this to form a deterrence to others and I strongly believe the media will also talk about this with the need for us to to show cases of vote by the fact still remains that INEC doesn't sell vote INEC doesn't buy vote and but for for this election we have resolved that our voting centers will not be an avenue to for vote trading or buying and everything has been put in place for uh, voters to vote and their secrecy to be ensured. So the setting up of our polling units, the manner in which our ballot papers will be issued out to the voters, all these have been put in place so that it will ensure the secrecy of vote of the voters. Even to the collecting centers, we made excessive and robust security uh, we have in place security uh, personnel there that make sure and strategies that make sure that this vote by and other election or electioneering and violent threatening cannot happen. To get rid of whoever is trying to do that, that is what we at least we have in place source a strategy this time and make sure that this November 16 we will have by special grace of God fair, free and credible election. The program will go a long way to help because those of us here will go back to our various areas and preach the gospel. But the idea of food buying, I don't think it's only on the election day. Like someone said there, it starts from the day they're planning to contest. Because they will meet various groups, various associations, and each group will go with something. So if, I pray that our people who understand that selling your food is like selling your rights. Because if you sell your food today, you suffer for it for the next four years. So I pray that it will work. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.